so I've been avoiding making this video for a while now and uh, what better kind of day it's raining it's dreary out and I have news that I've been avoiding because it's not as good as I wanted it to be and uh, it has of course to do with the limo company we've been uh, in operation for one year one month now we actually we purchased our first limo in January of 2007, but we didn't take our first passenger until I think August. That was our first paid passenger. So what I've been avoiding or trying to figure out and work out is the fact that uh, we're losing money. And I knew going into this that we would lose uh, money at the beginning. And so I'm not surprised by that. But my goal was to at least be breaking even by the one year point. Now, we've been in business for a year. We haven't, I, it's hard to say whether or not we've been in operations for a year. I, I guess that really we could say that we have because we've had a limo for over a year. But at the same point, that was the money suck, and uh, we didn't get any customers until we actually bought our second limo, and uh, that's the H2. Uh, we, we bought that one, and then we finally started being able to service some customers. So, you know, let's call it that actually we really got the business going or opened in August. So, but my original goals were to be at least breaking even by January. Now I've come to find out that January, February, and March are the slowest months of the year for uh, limousine services. And so I can't, I can't hold that against uh, some of the stats and stuff. But I will say that in November and December, we uh, had losses of around $12,000 per month. And forgive me while I change lanes and pay attention to traffic. So we had losses of over $12,000 each month. We didn't keep stats before that because uh, we're still building stuff and everything. And uh, so we started keeping stats in November. The biggest issue has been our insurance. Our insurance uh, is between thirty-two and thirty-six thousand dollars per year for five cars. What we're finding out is is uh, that the insurance on the bus size vehicles is costing us an average of four thousand dollars per year more for each one of those vehicles. So if we had a fleet of five that was just five cars or 14 passengers and under, uh, we could deduct 12,000 off of that. So if it's uh, 32,000, you know, we can put it down to 20,000 for five cars. That is a lot more palatable, but these are the cars that we chose to begin with. And so that's where we're at. Uh, you know, part of, the, part of the bigger costs is because we tried to expand right away. We thought that buying another company, which we did, we bought another company, and we uh, got two cars with that, and we thought that by expanding our business in that manner, that we were gonna be able to get more customers and more business. Well, it didn't really work out that way. They didn't have a lot of business in the first place, and they were struggling. And so even though we got their customer list and everything, we were not able to convert that into any extra customers. They also had Yellow Pages ads. Their ad must have been horrible because I don't know that we ever got a single call off of those ads. So this is all uh, stuff that we're learning that you know we could have done better or differently. And uh, so now we're at this deficit of over $12,000 per month. So the plan is, is that uh, we got to get through these next three months, these slowest months. Actually, it's uh, February now, so only two more months to go of the really slow stuff. And then we've got the prom season. I'm really, really hoping 
that the prom season is very much like it is the Christmas season for retail stores. Because the Christmas season, a lot of retail stores will make 70% of their profit during uh, the Christmas season, which is, you know, maybe at most two months long because you have the, you know, the stuff that uh, they, they actually start before Thanksgiving now. And you go a little bit beyond Thanksgiving when you are uh, with the after holiday sales and stuff. So, anyway, I'm hoping that it's that this is the way it is, because if that's true, that might make up for this deficit. Although, I think that we're not doing enough runs. Uh, this weekend coming up, it uh, is, uh, well, this next week is Valentine's Day. And uh, this video probably won't make it onto the air until after this weekend. And this weekend we do have uh, bookings Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And Saturday we're triple booked. We'll have uh, all three of our chauffeurs driving this Saturday, which is really good. And so this week, you know, by doing all these runs may be profitable just for this week. But it, uh, overall, will it? So, uh, the... We're booked this weekend, then we've got Valentine's Day coming up, and uh, we do have a couple of bookings on Valentine's Day, and then we have uh, several more bookings the weekend after as well. And a lot of it, I believe, is related to Valentine's Day. A lot of people, since Valentine's Day is in the middle of the week, are just not able to uh, celebrate it in the middle of the week. And then there's people like me. I couldn't care less about Valentine's Day, although... I will tell my wife happy Valentine's Day, and we don't really se celebrate it though, and uh, never really have. So, anyway, that's the current status on the limo company. That is the uh, truth about how it's going, and uh, you know we're being successful in some respects, but in others we are not. So that's uh, just the way it is, and. If any of you have any advice, I'd be certainly happy to hear it. Um, I did another video that's on uh, one of my other sites about uh, mentors and and learning this stuff. And I will say, I do not have a good mentor for the limo industry. And uh, I've been looking for one, and I keep hitting up certain people for advice. But what I've found is, is that locally... Uh, these people don't necessarily want to give me that key information on how they're successful. So, I can understand that. A little frustrating. And uh, so, if we're not in competition with each other, feel free to contact me. Anyway, take care.